All right, so here we are, XFL noobs. We're on week three. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, this article that we see right here. Ely, why I'm not in the NFL anymore, right? I had a nervous breakdown. I went through a deep depression. I didn't talk to anyone. I couldn't work out, and I couldn't play football. I couldn't do anything, okay? So, um, yeah, so let's, 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 let's chat about that for a split, sec- split second here. So uh, this... He he. What he went through, I think, what it was was he had uh, uh, family members mm-hmm. die, um, in the most inopportune. Well, it's never an opportune time. It's just in a, in a, obviously it just seems like bad timing because it's such a rough yeah. situation, right? So, um, he was in the NFL, and um, I from the from what the article says, and let me just scroll down to it. Um. Yeah, so. so Ely had an uh, Ely ha- has another sister, Sarah Jones. She was born with a chromosome disorder that left her mentally and physically challenged. Ely had promised his father long ago that he would care. Actually, let's just start from the beginning real quick. So uh, these days, Ely is, is a defensive end for the XFL's Houston Roughnecks. He's a damn good one, too. Uh, how the heck did that happen? It's a long, sad story uh, of the fall of a guy who made history with the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl 50. We watched that. Did we? Yeah, we watched it with Rob. Oh. In the in the office. Oh, okay. And the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, and they lost. They lost against uh, Denver. Mm. Yeah, we caught that. We didn't know what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> but we, it's just because it's just it was like everyone was there at the office and we just thought it was... Yeah. Okay. So, um, Ely tied the Super Bowl record uh, on only 23 snaps with three sacks. Wow. You know what a sack is, remember? Yes, when you get tackled to the ground. Who does? The quarterback. Yes! Is it only the quarterback? Is it not called a sack when other people get tackled to the ground? It's only when the quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Uh, He also had an interception to force the fumble. So, it is a story of possible redemption, but to to understand that, you first need to hear the sadness and the real reason Ely isn't in the NFL. He was out of football entirely in 2019, the first time he revealed the reason why to XFL.com in a Wednesday afternoon telephone interview. Right. So he had nervous, but yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, here. so the deaths of his father and sister in close uh, proximity both died from respiratory diseases. It just mentally knocked me off my game. Ely said, I'm not talking just football. It knocked me off my life. Absolutely. It would. Yeah. yeah, I don't blame him for one second. It's that's very so tough. So much father and lot. sister. That's that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Um, I uh, the, the part that I remember seeing was that at the bottom here. Um, watch my video. Uh, Asia Walker held the family together. Um, uh, I was afraid I would be like that forever. Ely said I was afraid I'd never snap out of it. And I was sure I'd never be able to play football again. Yeah, no, I understand, man. I feel you. So, um, where was it? Well, the thing is that it went on for a year, mm-hmm. right? And I think um, I don't. He's he's not going into details, but it sounds to me like the NFL was like very, you know. Like, again, I'm just guessing. We know nothing. But it sounds to me like he was very... The NFL was very, like, good about it. You know? I, I would think so. I mean, he doesn't... He talks about how he wants to eventually get back to the NFL. And that is another thing that I want to bring up, too, is that in the XFL, it's like, okay, well, these guys still... XFL is still looking like it's the stepping stone. Definitely, right. yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm excited to get back into it with the XFL, but his final goal is to get back into the NFL. Yeah, so it's very early in the XFL. L- yeah. We're literally week three into this. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think that if the XFL becomes big enough, okay? So let's talk about self-reflection. So we're going to move away from Ely for a second, Yeah. okay? Let's talk about, like, just some other player. Make him up. Call him, like, you know, Dave Smith. I don't know. Okay. Just make him up. If he's a real football player, I'm sorry, Dave Smith. <laughs> <laughs> We're just making him up. This is totally fictitious. 
if Dave Smith were to play football and um, he got to a certain point in his life, mm -hmm. right? It's for the love of the game, mm -hmm. right? Do you think that he would want to stay in the XFL as that level of play? So for, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, like we're musicians, like Ariana and I met in music school. We never once thought we would ever, you played what? Keys. Yeah. Keyboard, piano, yeah. organ. You never once thought I'm going to be Chick Corea. No. <laughs> and you never wanted to be that either. No, I didn't. Um, you were happy to be at a certain level mm -hmm. and that was okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if Dave Smith were to be that way, mm -hmm. right? And it's just, you know, maybe maybe he went into it for the love of the love of football, love of the game, being the XFL, win a mm -hmm. championship there. Mm -hmm. It may not necessarily be the NFL. Do you think he'd be okay with that? Do you think somebody would be okay with I that? I think that somebody would be okay with that. I don't know. Like, it is... I don't know how different it is with football because, I mean, music-wise, part of the reason I was like, I don't need to be Chick Corea is, like, I preferred... The composition side like not being that's in true. the limelight that's true. while in xfl and nfl you're in the limelight like football your face is everywhere like you're famous yeah well that's part and parcel with the sport because really yeah. in the in the game of football alone it doesn't matter about being famous it's really about the sport if yeah. you really want to break it down to that level right yes, yes. it doesn't matter if you're famous yes it matters that you're good you mm -hmm. end up be it's a byproduct of yeah. being that good i mean there, I mean, look at the the Ball Brothers. I saw a YouTube video on those guys. You know, do you remember those? Those it was like those three brothers and those two friends, Alonzo Ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, basketball, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All these videos are just coming through my feed. Yeah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> ever since we were like searching up, like, and don't get me wrong, I love sports here and there. You know, I'm not a big sports junkie, but like now my YouTube feed is just full of these documentaries of greatness, right? So, uh, anyway, sorry to interrupt you. So, they, 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 those guys. Yeah. I mean, we talked about this a little bit in our uh, in our first episode with Joe Uke. Like, mm. it was like, what could the incentives be for them to stay in the XFL? Because, especially after reading this, you know, it, it does sound like most people in the XFL would want to be in the NFL. And I think maybe the difference would be is if you're in the NFL are you know how active are you like are you on the field all the time you know i think that would make a difference like if people aren't playing as much football well because they're not the best of the best then they might prefer xfl yeah i mean obviously see the thing is it, it okay we should all be striving to be a better version of ourselves mm -hmm. every single day we shouldn't expect anyone else to do it for us we shouldn't, ex you know what I mean? Like it's all, it all comes down to you. But is there a point where, is there a point where you'd just be content to stay in, you know, it's, it's like the money would be the reason. Uh, yeah, why. I think the money, but I also think it like, it would just be your, your life situation at the time. Right. I mean, like Ely right now, like probably XFL is perfect for him because he's like, I do want to get to the NFL, but this is a great place for me to be right now right because maybe if he immediately went right back to the nfl he'd be more overwhelmed well take a look at take a look at what ted cottrell says it's the defensive coordinator uh what's he doing in the xfl houston the uh, defensive coordinator ted cottrell said i can't figure it out but i'm just happy he's with us because he's a great player if he keeps playing like this he's back in the nfl no time jeez the font is so small i'm so far away from the mark I'm having troubles reading it. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean. So okay, so that's can't that's that's, it out. that's yeah. the goal. Ely says. So like, he he's he's such a good player. He's mm -hmm. o, he's op. Right. According to the defensive coordinator, right? Right. So, you know, he wants to go to the NFL. That's mm -hmm. great. But let's say somebody along that lines. Yeah. 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 It's different, obviously, because he was in the NFL, so he knows he knows firsthand the experience between both. While oh, there's a lot true. of these XFL that's players true. who've never played in the NFL. That's true. Not to, I mean, not to, not to, you know, not to diss the XFL, but it's like, yeah, it, it, he, it's, it's not like a downgrade. To, it's like a step down, almost step backwards. Right. You know. So I don't know what 
the players' perspectives are when they're in that XFL. Are they like, oh, yeah, I really want to get to the NFL? Or are they like, this is really great? Like, I bet there's a wide variety. Like, I bet some people are just, like, super happy in that XFL. Well, let's, yeah, let's see if there's a college guy, right? Because yeah. there's not a lot of spots in the NFL. Right. There's really not a lot of spots, right? There's not even a lot of spots in the farm team and the things or, like, the, the practice teams. Right. Like, it takes a lot to get to there. Yeah. Uh, and so you could still, it's almost like you can have a, a, a little bit of fame, a little bit of fortune, mm-hmm. get a name for yourself. I mean, again, we, I mentioned flowers and us noobs don't know who these people are, but his names are, are becoming part of our conversation. Mm-hmm. I say to you, PJ Walker and Cam Phillips, mm-hmm. automatically we think of the Houston Roughnecks, right. you know, as the Houston, you know, long distance c- connection. <laughs> <laughs> just, they always connect. If I, if I were to have if I were to have internet connection, it'd be Walker <laughs> Phillips. You know, yeah. The I I'd, I'd subscribe to Walker Phillips every month. <laughs> Solid connection, never goes down. Um, and, th- and then I say that now I'm gonna curse them and I feel terrible. I'm really sorry, you guys, but Houston, you're great. So that getting back to our our fictional character of Dave Smith, yeah. Is there something to be said about being happy to like? Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Dave Smith was like an XFL? Like he was a he was a franchise player. Um, he'd visit kids in the hospital. Mm-hmm. He would like do a lot of nice things. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he goes into the NFL, he's now a nobody. Exactly. I think that. But but he never started or even got close to the NFL. He right. made his way up to the XFL. Right. And that could happen next year or year three. And if it's still going year four, year five, do you think that there's? Do you think that maybe would it? Do you think that maybe when if you're to Dave Smith? fictional character would think that way um it's less about the sport and more about helping a league grow helping yeah children yeah. be happy and you know he may not be the best in the entire world but he did something he was the best at like helping grow things yeah like oh yeah so then it's like okay maybe in the xfl the impact is is wider and bigger than it would be in the nfl just because of the opportunity at the moment because it's so new and everything. So yeah, I think there's, I think players could definitely be happy in the XFL. I don't know like what it's like, you know, but do you think that that would be a good incentive as a, yeah, you know, as a humanitarian end of things, right? I mean, a lot of times when celebrities, celebrities, a lot of times when celebrities, they all of a sudden they just like, Oh, okay. Well, all of a sudden we're, we're humanitarians out of nowhere. And they, they, they have to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, their agents tell them to do it because it improves their profile. This is nothing new. We, this, we, we've seen this a million times, right? So um, if someone was that genuine in the XFL, it, I think it might work. Yeah. I honestly think it might work. I think that we were to have a franchise player that, you know, people understood. It's like, you know what? He may not be NFL level or he could be and chose to stay in the xfl Mm -hmm. but he's doing so many things by inspiring a lot of kids to Mm -hmm. get into sport and get healthy Mm -hmm. lord knows i need to get inspired to be healthy (laughs) (laughs) but uh, i think it would work yeah i mean i think that depending on the person there could be incentives that would make them want to stay i don't know what those are we don't know enough, but I, mean, I we definitely can spec- we, just we take can guesses. totally yeah yeah yeah. But if I it's def- not the money, because it's definitely not the money. I think the yeah. starting, I think the average that they get paid is fifty five grand, mm. whereas a starting salary in the NFL, the minimum is like four hundred and some odd, four fifty, four fifty seven. Right. right, right. Look it up on, uh, I think it's uh, Flemmel Raps. He's got it on his channel. I've been watching a lot of him lately. Mm-hmm. Watching watching a lot of TD. Uh, Barrett and uh, your boy Pizza. <laughs> so those are good. That's not, that's, that's all Madden. But anyways. Um, um, yeah, I think like there's, there must be other incentives beyond like obviously salary would want, like people would want to move purely for that. But I'm sure the XFL will come up with other things to keep players in the XFL. They have to, they got to be they, creative. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, 
if you're to move to a city that has a lot of tech, it's like these small startups have to have a lot of incentive. Right, exactly. C- compared against Google, Facebook, and yep. Amazon. And they all exist, which means it's possible. It just is a matter of what the incentives are. And, there are, and, the, and the person. There are a lot of people, uh, you know, like, for example, devs, mm-hmm. who, like, don't want to be a part of that giant Google machine. Yep. At one point, um, Google said, uh, I think their, their tagline was, don't be evil. Hmm. <laughs> and then they got, they got rid of that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But anyway, yeah. uh, that's, uh, that about wraps it up, I think, for this episode. Uh, so props to Ely. Uh, hope things go nothing but up for you, which mm-hmm. I think it will because mm-hmm. it's doing great. We're enjoying watching uh, the Houston uh, Roughnecks play. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm Terry Flip. I'm Arianna Lee. And we'll see you in our next episode. <laughs>